Hello, everyone. Welcome to another build stream. Um, if I look disheveled and tired, it's because uh, I was sick. And I know I say that a lot, and it's because I genuinely do get sick all the time. But I was actually, like, sick enough to vomit and couldn't barely move yesterday, so. That's why, um. It was it was not a good day yesterday. I wanted to finish yesterday, but I just couldn't I couldn't move to do it. Um, so we're gonna finish up today uh, with the legs and all the rest of the accessories. So here's what we've done so far: torso, skirt, shoulder, arms, head. Oh, there's quite a bit to do today, but I'm sure I can manage. I may at some point have to get up and go get a Gatorade, but because I ended up severely dehydrated. Ugh. It was legitimately one of the worst instances of being sick I have had in a very long time. I rarely get sick enough to throw up. <laughs> it was the absolute worst. Either way, I do have a list of things to talk about, uh, like normal, so I will get to that in just a moment. One thing I would like to mention is that it's actually, at the time of me doing this uh, build, um, and I say it's a build stream, and that's because I am streaming it to YouTube just out of convenience, but I'm going to end up downloading it because I'm not doing it on my actual Cast Gunplay channel and re-uploading it over there so that it's just easier. Um, I still have to do a bunch of videos that I have planned, but I was, I was going to do it yesterday. I went to bed with the idea, okay, tomorrow will be the day I do this a couple nights ago. And when I wake up, I'm feeling way worse. So that's that's why. Um, ouch. So with all that said, we're gonna we're gonna work on this. If you hear wheezing, that would be my older dog. I don't know why I've tried to help her. She's had water and everything, but she's still wheezing, so. <sighs> I don't normally yawn, so that should ex show how exhausted I am. Ugh. All right, I still have a list of things to talk about, so I'll get into that. Um, I finally watched Batman Ninja, and I know it came out last year, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. Um, and quite honestly, I was uh, a little worried about... Safi, come on. Take a drink of your water. Um, I was worried about uh, how they might handle this. I didn't know the plot of it. I thought it was legitimately like a ninja Batman, not Batman getting sent to the past. Um, but that is what the story was. And it was, it was weird, man. It was weird. <laughs> Um, I was, so yeah, I started watching it and it started at Gotham in modern times. And I'm like, all right, so how does this become Ninja? And the first few minutes of the movie is Batman trying to stop Gorilla Grodd from activating a, a device that we are not informed of what it is or what it does. Um, but the device goes off, and the next time we see Batman, 
he's like in the middle of a street in feudal Japan getting attacked by a bunch of samurai because for some reason he managed to land later in Japan than a bunch of supervillains. So the supervillains took over and became feudal lords because he ends up in the Warring States period. And Joker managed to become a feudal lord in Japan, along with Poison Ivy, Penguin, uh, Deathstroke, and Two-Face. Meanwhile, there's a ninja clan that has a legend of uh, a mysterious foreigner, uh, foreign ninja with a mask in the shape of a bat, and they're sworn to uh, follow him. So that was weird. And I didn't like how they handled Batman in part of the movie, because part of the movie... Batman starts trying to take down Joker, and the Batmobile was taken to feudal Japan with them, and Alfred was there and managed to take care of it, and Batman tried to use it to um, to take down Joker, um, but it didn't work, and so Batman's like, I can't use any of my 21st century gadgets and technology. Whatever will I do? And I'm like, okay, one, Batman would never say or do anything like that. Two, Batman's gadgets are shuriken, smoke pellets, and grappling hooks for the most part. I don't know what he would have expected, but Japan had those things. So it was, it was weird on that front. Here's feet, by the way. And the whole movie was interesting. Um, and then it got to the end and it sort of jumped the shark. Now, obviously, I enjoy mechs. That's just a thing. But... It, but random castles made by uh, the villains of... Uh, the Batman's rogues gallery. Turning into... Uh... Uh. Where was I? Yeah, all the villains have their castles and they turn into giant mechs and then Gorilla Grodd having forcibly taken over because they all thought Joker had died. I didn't. The plot was weird. Um, they all end up joining together like a big freaking Power Rangers thing. And then Damian Wayne Robin, because there was like every Robin there. There was uh, Nightwing, uh, Red Hood, Red Robin, and Damian Wayne. Technically, there are more Robins, um, but we'll just ignore that for now. I assume this doesn't... I guess it does matter. Okay, I'm going to set that over there. Um, what was I talking about? So yeah, they, sort, they join... Damian Wayne has a flute and a pet monkey. Mm-hmm. And using the flute and his pet monkey to play the chords. He makes a gorilla. He, he uses the flute and makes a gorilla grides monkey army form a single massive monkey. It was so dumb. Although I can say that I did enjoy the sight of Batman in full samurai armor, even though he was supposed to be a ninja, um, having 
a uh, katana battle with Joker, who didn't actually die, uh, on top of a castle. And of course, the movie had your average ninja tropes where before they left for their final mission, they were inside their, uh, they being the Bat family, were inside their, uh, their hut. And Batman slaps up a tatami mat and reveals all of their, all of their weapons. So if you, if you like tropes, although those might just be cliches rather than tropes at that point. Um, that's a thing. I don't like that I'm starting to feel ill. Uh, all right, so let's see. Now, I'm going to assume you go like that. Uh, and there's a dog barking upstairs. Bork, bork, bork. Ow. 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 Okay. All I know is that it was insane. And I know that uh, the designs for like all the female characters were attractive AF, man. Okay, there's that. Now, A212. Okay, so... I, I guess I'd suggest watching Batman Ninja. It really depends on what you want to get out of it. If you want to see Batman just being an actual ninja, it's not really your movie. Um... So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, and now, Polycap. Six. C1 and C5. Um, let's see, what else? Um... I don't know if I mentioned this, but my plan for this kit is to is to do a custom sort of thing, and it's like super generic, but it's uh, like a mobile suit, uh, a Gundam that was partially destroyed and then uh, captured by Zeon, and they fix it with some spare Zaku parts. And it gets put back out on the front line. Um, sort of my concept here. But I don't know. We'll see how well it works. Ow. So one of the arms is going to end up being just a full-on Zaku arm. Uh, it's going to be, this one is going to end up just a standard Zaku arm, but instead of the uh, the shield arm being on this side, it's going to be the spiked shoulder. And then I'm going to take the shoulder shield and make it like a regular shield that'll attach to this arm. It's got plans. I have to get a Zaku cheap that I can do it with, but... One of my big problems when doing custom projects is that I never want to. <laughs> I never want to. Um, 
And what I mean by that is I want to do the custom project. I think it'd be cool. But I don't want to use my own kits for it because I put them together and I want them to sit on my shelf and look nice. I don't know why I have such a problem with it, but... Okay, well, now there is that. And I move forward with another one of these polycaps. I am tired, man. Okay, B1. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my stomach, but talking has sort of set it off like I feel sick again. But so far, I've just burped a bunch. So we'll see how this goes. Either way, what was I talking about? All right, there's that. I injure my fingers frequently. I mean, that's... <clears throat> I'm really bad about it. Um, one, I chew my nails, so I get skin pulls a lot. Um... And one that I got recently was on my thumb. And I was just like, all right, I'm going to bite it off. And I tried to bite it off. And it goes like halfway up my thumb toward my knuckle. And that's like one of my worst nightmares. Um, so never want to deal with that again. But then the other day, I had a bug bite on my finger that I scratched and made it start bleeding. <clears throat> um, I accidentally stabbed myself with my X-Acto knife uh, a few days ago. I'm very bad about it. Um, I burned my fingers. It's just one of those things. I'm sorry how you just randomly went silent, but I don't know how many of you know who Anthony Fantano is. He's a uh, music reviewer on YouTube. Um, and his roommate, Cal Chuchesta. I love that I'm legitimately talking about Cal Chuchesta in one of these. Um, his roommate, Cal Chuchesta, uh, tried to be a rapman, which is what he calls rappers. Um, and so he made a bunch of parodies as Cal Chuchesta because it's just the, a running joke on his thing that he hates Cal Chuchesta. <clears throat> and they're actually really good because Anthony Fantano actually makes good music. Um, Let's see. A two twenty four. L. So now I'm going to end up listening to those after I finish streaming. Safi, drink your water. Ow, that hurt.
Taffy, please drink your water. So I discovered in the process of building this that pearl white that they use for this leaves really bad nub marks. Okay. Snap in place, damn you. All right, there's a giant chunk of leg. Now I get <clears throat> B15. Please drink your water, Safi. For the love of God. I don't know if I've mentioned, but her name is Safi, which is short for Sapphire because uh, my sister had a dog that later became our dog, but that's not important for the, uh, the story I'm telling at this exact second. Um, she had a dog of the same breed that she named Ruby, so my mom named ours Sapphire. Creative, I know. I tried to uh, keep the trend going by having, uh, by trying to convince them to uh, name my dog Chloe Amethyst, but they said no. And by they, I mean my mom and my brother, who was at the time determined that Chloe was his dog, when in fact Chloe became my dog. And then literally just a year later, my brother is convinced that this other dog he got named Teddy is going to be his dog. Nope. Teddy's also my dog. <clears throat> and Teddy's like extra my dog. Um, I am the one that Teddy is most attached to. Chloe, on the other hand, I mean, she loves me and she's excited to see me when I've been away, but Teddy can't live without sitting with me a lot of the time. She sort of loses it, so. Okay. You go there. Uh, I guess there's decent articulation there. I don't like how loose the knees are, but... All right, here's a foot, and then I just have to do the ankle guard, and we'll be done with this leg, and I can work on the other one. Also, it finishes up this runner, which is nice. And part of my thing uh, when building Gunpla is once I've built it once, being the leg, uh... I can do it a second time without really having to look at the instructions. So that is exciting. Let's see. I don't know what they're watching upstairs on TV, but it's loud and obnoxious. All right, there is one leg. Let's get it attached. All right, well... We'll fix it up later, but there is a leg. Uh, I have another one to make. So we're going to do that. Pop. 
I am so freaking tired. And I don't know how I'm possibly tired. I slept like 18 hours yesterday. But I am. Ouch. Okay, there's that. I don't think I have anything else on here for it. No. All right, there's this. Set that over there. And it's you now. All right, so first I will need this. Um, this kiss, this kiss. It's magical. Oh, I also, I found the only good thing that BuzzFeed has ever made. Um, granted, I'm sure other people think that BuzzFeed's, like, good and an authoritative news source and everything, but uh, BuzzFeed is stupid and favors identity politics, which I'm not a big fan of. And I'm going to avoid getting into that. Um... And I constantly get recommended things from BuzzFeed. And then uh, one day I was on a binge of watching things about serial killers, as you do. And I got recommended uh, BuzzFeed's uh, BuzzFeed True Crime, where these two guys uh, sit in a room and one of them tells the other the story of a true unsolved unsolved crime. And they sit there and make fun of it. And the fact that BuzzFeed let them make fun of something where other people might be offended, like making fun of the disappearance of children and stuff, is probably the edgiest thing BuzzFeed's ever made. It's also the only good thing I've ever seen them make. So I've seen the whole series. And while I refuse to subscribe to a BuzzFeed channel, the next season when it comes out, I will watch all of it as well. Okay. So let's see. That goes there, and this goes there, and this goes here. Hiya. And now I put this over top, like oh, I should probably actually trim the nubs off of this. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, it's actually a really interesting show. Um, they also do one for, like, supernatural things because one of the guys believes in supernatural things and the other guy doesn't. Um, and it's basically just the one guy trying to convince the other that uh, supernatural things exist. And the one guy just makes fun of it constantly. But... I don't watch that one because I'm not interested in supernatural things because they're not real. Um Let's see. Anything else? I know I have a ton of other things to talk about. But... Oh, editing's tedious. I've done so much editing recently because I'm trying to do this huge push for me to have a ton of videos ready for when I come back 
on to uh, doing things for my blog again after my summer break. Um, and so I've, I've just been, I've done so much editing that my brain is sort of fried. Um, and I have more editing and to do. I have one more video I still need to edit left. And then I have more videos I need to record, which also entails editing. So it's going to be a big next week or so because that's the last week of my break. Um, and I would have done it sooner, but just getting sick totally ruined me. Um, Please drink your water. Whew. All right. Let's see. Safi, I love you. Yep. Yep, I love you, Safi. I do, I do, I do. Um, I'm trying to think of other things to talk about, but, but yeah, no, editing has been so, so frustrating. There's just so much to do, um, especially in ones that show my face. If I show my face, it's so much worse because I can kind of get away with it being ever so slightly off, um, the audio sync on like unboxings and stuff. But when it's my face, I can't. And one of the big things uh, about editing videos with my face also is that when I try and do something like overlay something or transition from my intro to something else to video of that I actually recorded, um, it just doesn't work right. And it desyncs itself and it's it's a frustrating thing. It is an incredibly frustrating thing. <sighs> okay, there's another section of leg done. Just a few more pieces and we will be on to the accessories, which is just a bunch of guns and the shield, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Let's just nip off all of these. So are they called nippers because the sound they make when they cut the stuff is kind of like nip? Is it? Did I just stumble on, on upon something that should be absolutely freaking obvious, but it isn't because I don't pay attention to things? Because that would be great. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I accidentally rolled over this runner because it landed on the floor somehow. And this beam rifle is partially broken because of it. The other one luckily isn't, but... We're not on that yet. We're almost on that, but we're not quite there yet. Um... Ow. Let's see. 
Billie Eilish music still sucks. Um, I just, I can't get over how terrible it is. And, like, my nieces obsess over it. I was actually sitting upstairs, which I don't do very often because recently I've been overly anxious and sick. So I haven't been going upstairs very often. So I was actually sitting upstairs for a while the other day. And then they went to put on some Billie Eilish music. And I'm like, ah, no, not happening. And I left. I don't know why suddenly emo pop music is popular, but. That's all it was. And then the videos are dumb. And I know I've talked about it before, but it's stupid. Right, so that goes there, and then you are next. I would greatly appreciate if my stomach stopped feeling the way it's feeling. Okay, that goes there. Look, we're almost done! And then we're on accessories. Which will be nice. Uh -huh. So, my dad is currently in the hospital. Um... He's diabetic, and he's had an infection in his foot for a very long time. Um, since before he moved to Canada. Um, and it's gotten worse, so they're having to amputate um, part of his foot. And... They just keep putting off the surgery, and he's getting really anxious about it. Um, okay, can we... I'm not entirely sure why this doesn't look right. I know that this is taller than a bunch of other kits. Um, but there's that. It can stand off to the side while I work on the accessories now. Whew. All right. Um, basically, I can just close the instruction booklet now because it's all like two pieces snapping together to form one, so. Aside from the shield, but the shield, it's three pieces. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Um, let's see. What else to talk about? Um, I mean, yeah, Freud was a hack, but I don't know if I could really discuss that. Um, I have recently had one of my bursts of creativity where... Suddenly, I have, like, the extreme urge to actually be creative, I guess, is the only way to say that. Um, basically, I sit there, and suddenly I have the urge to actually write consistently, because I do write, but I don't do it consistently just because I, I can't think of things to write. Um, I get writer's block extremely easily. And occasionally, I'll just have these, like, sudden moments of clarity where I can write for days without losing what I'm trying to build up to. And that's generally how I get most of my writing done, is I'll do that, and then I'll have writer's block for a very long time. And then suddenly, it'll pop into my head, like, the next phase of what's happening in the story that I want it to be. 
And then I have the ability to write until I actually manage to get there. So uh, there's the shield. I'm going to cut out the piece that attaches to the arm. Whew, all right. Let's trim that. Whew, all righty then. There it is. Well, there's a shield. Now we have accessories. All right, other accessories now. Gun and guns, pretty much. That's it. So, let's see. I need to think of something I can talk about briefly, just because this is going to be so quick. Um... So my sister, I have two older, I'm the youngest. Um, the younger of my two sisters is engaged. Um, and she's been planning her wedding. And it's been remarkably fast going. Um, and then she's going she wants to get married on Halloween because she's obsessed with Halloween. Um, it's kind of a problem, to be quite honest. She's, like, overly obsessed with it. Um, but, yeah. So, she thinks she's found a place... To do the wedding, she's gotten her invitations and place uh, place settings, um, like her the thing that labels where you're supposed to sit at the wedding. Wow, this is ridiculous. I hope that the other one works better because this is ugly. Jesus. All right, so yeah, so that's that's a thing. Um, I'm not super excited just because it's a thing that I'm going to be going to that's going to have a ton of people, especially a ton of people that I don't actually know because of her fiance's friends and family. I am just not excited about it. I mean, I'm happy for her, but... Yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm going to set that aside. And hope that at least these bits work out better. Because these didn't get broken. Ugh. <sighs> It's 
And then, <clears throat> let's see, what else has she gotten done? Um, she's trying to figure out currently how she wants to do the music. Because um, she doesn't want to do a DJ because a DJ is expensive. But at the same time, she doesn't want to just set up a playlist to go. Um, and then my uncle is in a band and she wants him to play some, some of his music, um, which is all well and fine. I enjoy my uncle's music. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really cognizant of everything happening when my other sister got married because I was young. Um, I would have been in like fourth grade at the time. Um, but this one, I'm definitely more aware of it because I'm an adult. So... And she doesn't want to get... She's getting married next Halloween. Not this Halloween. <sighs> it's ridiculous. If... If I ever do get married... Um, Jury's still out. Um, mostly just because I don't interact with people because of all my anxieties. But if for some reason I do manage to get past that and end up in a serious long-term relationship and I do end up getting married, I'm not entirely sure if I would want to be doing part like a huge ceremony. Um, Okay, so there's that. Um, now there's just the others on this side. Um, my stomach is feeling awful. I've never been big on social norms. If I do ever get married, I just want to go to the courthouse and get it done. And at the same time, I never want to have kids. I mean, I'm not I'm not entirely closed off to the idea of having children in general. I'm closed off to the idea of having biological children. Just, I mean, I'd adopt and be all well and fine with that, but if I ever got to a point in my life where I wanted kids, but my genes are full of like risks, risk factors for diabetes and heart disease, mental illness. I wouldn't put that on a child. Um, I cannot justify bringing a child into the world knowing that odds are extremely likely some of those things would happen to them. So, biological children? No. Adopting? Maybe. Marriage? Also a maybe, but only if... It's not, like, a big thing. I'm every woman's view of a hopeless romantic, aren't I? <sighs> I 
I would appreciate being done. Okay. So let's put these together. So there's that, and this one is actually not awful looking, so I will put it in the hand. Ugh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Whew. All right, I still have guns to put together, so let's try and have you stand. Whew. All right, over here. Up here. So, yeah. That's how I intend my life to go out. Um, I think I'm just going to wrap up here because you've already seen me put them together. It's just four pieces that I'm snapping together. So, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, comment what you think about the build or anything I've talked about. Like the video if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. Totally reasonable. Subscribing means absolutely nothing on YouTube. You have to hit the notification bell if you actually want to be notified of my content. Ugh. I'm going to see if I can stop feeling awkward in my stomach area and uh, finish up. So, bye.